Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior and welcome back to my K-pop reaction channel. I post new K-pop reaction videos here almost every single day. Uh, today I'm finally getting to my April Patreon requests. I'm so sorry everybody, uh, especially patrons, but uh, it's been an insane month. I had family basically living here for a month. Very fun, but uh, we're, we're just now getting to April stuff. And then we've got May stuff, and then we're somehow going to have to keep up with all these new releases in June. I'm a little bit overwhelmed and very excited, basically. Um, so keep an eye on the channel. There will be so many videos coming out. Like, I don't, I, I'm not going to give a number, but I'm just going to get to everything as soon as I can. So um, today is a Patreon request from Bob, one of my consistent $10 patrons. Uh, shout out to Bob, uh, make sure you send some love in the comments below if you like IU or, uh, or wanted me to react to this. Um, Bob has requested that I react to The Red Shoes, uh, by IU. Um, what's interesting, uh, let's see, what does Bob say really quick? Uh, wanted you to react to I Use Red Shoes for a while. It's the title track from her 2013's Modern Times album, which is a masterpiece in and of itself. I think you'll love this one just like you loved About the Time. So, uh, obviously, I loved About the Time. I've loved you and I. And if you don't follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash warrior, I do a lot of playlist streams once a week on Tuesdays. It's very fun. We do these uh, live playlist streams where basically we chat votes on a topic, and then next week we take that genre, maybe chill or rap or sexy girl group songs or R&B or best rap breaks in K-pop is this coming week, I believe. Um, and so they just come up with themes, and then we do a live playlist where I just listen to music on Spotify. It's a really fun time, so go check that out every Tuesday at 3 p.m. PST. Uh, my Twitch link will be in the description below. But anyway, my point is... On almost every single playlist stream, somebody's gotten an IU song in there. So I'm slowly listening to more and more IU, even if you guys don't see a lot of reactions on the YouTube channel. Um, more and more IU is slowly creeping into my normal listening habits, and she's amazing. I love her voice. She's adorable. She's incredible. She's super unique. So I'm always excited to get into IU. I've obviously only seen a few IU MVs, or a couple of them. So here we go. Uh, sorry about that long intro. But, uh, the red shoes. I've never heard this song, though. I've heard a, a fair amount of IU. I've never heard this one. Cutting tape. This is to certify the red shoes has been... Wait, what did it say? Oh, has been passed. This is a very interesting intro. Would you take me there? So Red Shoes, that's like a, something to do with uh, like the Wizard of Oz, right? Isn't it? I feel like it is. I think it is. Ooh. Oh, she's so pretty. Can, can we take a moment to appreciate just how inhumanly beautiful IU is? Oh, is this swing? Okay. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay. I don't remember which song, but somebody has had me listen to on a stream. I don't remember if it was. I don't think it was this song, but somebody had me listen to another song. There's probably another song from this album that was in this kind of swing style from IU, this old-timey swing influence. I love it! Ooh! I love that the MV's in black and white, too. That's cool. Oh my gosh. I love this type of music. Especially when it's implemented into pop like this. Oh, cool. Are only the shoes going to be red or are they going to spread color? Um, anyway, what I was saying is I love this type of 
taking elements from swing, from uh, classical jazz, from like 50s lounge music, and then implementing that into a pop format that's a little bit digestible, um, like JYP's Fever, um, like this song, it sounds like it's going to be, I really, really like that. Uh, I just think it's cool, because I like that style of music to begin with, but also... You know, I'm a little bit... My ears are used to conventional pop formatting now. Um, just through sheer force of listening to it, so... That's cool that the shoes are gonna... I should have expected them to be red. Oh my... Her eyes! Okay, so the whole world's in color now. Oh! Ooh. I'm sorry. I, like, I don't want to be super shallow and just talk about how pretty she is, but, like, I can't... Like, it, she was pretty the whole time, right? I use always pretty. Um, but once the color comes in, how is she a person? Ooh. Oh, we're gonna catch that slide one more time. I'm gonna catch the slide. Hey! Not sad, I'm dancing! I love this aesthetic, this is awesome. Her voice is perfect for it, too. Who needs red shoes? She has pink shoes now. I love the little string work, too. <laughs> this is a- this is really cool. Ooh! Ooh, yeah, exactly. Yup. It's, it's- exactly. I'm basically one of them, yup. My reaction is a well. I can't. She's actually too pretty. Ooh. Oompa? Wait, I just noticed that Oompa Loompa's in the chorus, right? Oompa Loompa Dee Duda? Is that what it says? What? Okay, that's in the lyrics. I'm not imagining the Oompa Loompa. Oh, interesting. Wish my feet worked on their own. <laughs> he doesn't even need one piano, he's playing two pianos. Ugh. She's so adorable. Ooh, the shoes are dancing on their own. Are they chasing her? So time stopping is very important to her, I guess, huh? Ooh. Every time she does this, stop the time. That fall is so pretty.
This is so fun. Oh, her shoes, do they pull her back into the movie? Oh, I wonder. Ah, I bet it pulls her back into the movie, that's why. She doesn't want him on. Yeah, I see. She was in Paris the whole time? Guess I didn't catch that bit. <laughs> I guess I just assumed from the um, ragtime music that it was a uh, it's somewhere in America, but oh, like is she ever not cute? Like I feel like she just exudes cuteness to an unbelievable degree. This song was really fun. I don't know how they all kept a straight face there, except they're... And I love how her end credits... I'm noticing a pattern of her end credits on these, uh, these long story-based MVs are using either behind-the-scenes footage or, like, extra footage. Like, like, uh, bloopers and stuff. That's fun! Like, it, it, it creates a very... Almost like her music videos are a TV show, you know? Like, they're almost like episodes of a TV show or a movie. Where you get so much extra context. Mr. Shoes. That's fun. They gave Mr. Shoes credits. So it's like, it's like this weird... Like, watching an IU music video doesn't feel like I'm watching a music video. It's like I'm... It's like an experience, you know? String bass in particular gets me. Brass does it too, but man, when you get a string bass going off like this, that's when I can't sit still. I also can't not smile when I see her. Like, unless she's really sad, like in Above the Time. Parts of it, like, obviously. But, like, if I just see her just existing normally, I just have to smile. I don't. It's infectious. Like, I don't even mind watching three minutes of credits on her stuff. As long as I've got little dancing IU gifts, I'm I'm happy. That's all I need. Dang. Oh, her music videos are so good. They're just so good. Just consistently. Like I said, I've only seen a few, but they've all been exceptional. Uh, we have we have some some fan theories. Let's read this one. I'm curious. My take on the MV. The, shout out to Nine Fashionista four one one. Dude, as I use past lover. When the movie of I use starts playing in black and white, shows her dancing, running towards special shoes. She jumps in the shoes. Her ghost comes out in the movie real, and into the man's real life. They have a great time catching up, reminiscing. The shoes allow I to be with her lover. However, when the guy tosses the red shoes aside and gives her pink ones, the red shoes get upset. They seek revenge and come alive, chasing her down and bringing her back to her world, where she fades back into a ghost. She wanted to stay in the good summer times with her lover and stop the time, but she knows they cannot be together and he will forget her. Her ghost doesn't give up searching for him, despite the song's happy tune, the lyrics and MV seem quite dark and sad. Well, that's a horrifying spin, but fair enough. Um, hey, it's a better theory. I, I don't know how you guys come up with these, but that seems like it would make sense. Um, leave your IU Red Shoes MV theory in the description if you have one. I'd be curious, but... This is really good. 
Um, IU is consistently good. I have yet to hear an IU song I don't like. As a matter of fact, I have yet to hear an IU song I don't love, um, to be honest. And her MVs seem very cool as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is the Newbie Warrior. Shout out again to all my Patreons, especially Bob, who brought you this reaction. Uh, I appreciate it. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. Stay tuned to the channel. And please remember to stay newbie. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me over on Patreon. With special appreciation going out to Daniel Reigns, CJ, Georgia Young, Lucky7Gen, Bob, and CJ Monasterial.